sent me the letter of intent, which means my offer letter is coming, so that was a win. Good morning, y'all. Today is Expo Day. If y'all didn't know, UT throws an engineering expo, which is pretty much a job fair, in the fall and in the spring, and it's a two-day, 11 to 5 p.m. ordeal. So I'm about to head out. I went to my two classes this morning. It's so hot, so I just wore like t-shirt and shorts, came back to change real quick. Here is the fit. Very cute, I think, hopefully. And then I'm gonna take a bus because it's at the rec center, which is a 30 minute walk from my apartment. And I'm not gonna do that. So I'm about to catch the bus. I was gonna eat, but I'm kind of too nervous to eat. I'm so nervous. I don't really feel the need to be nervous because if an interaction goes bad, I'll probably never see him again. So it's nothing to stress over, but it is still a little nerve wracking. I hope it goes well. Hoping to get a few interviews. I haven't interviewed since my junior year of high school, so hope to see good outcomes today. Expo and I want to talk about my experience, what I did to prep for Expo, how Expo went, and maybe some advice that I have to give for y'all that are going to Expo in the future. This is my first time going to Expo. I'm a junior in the electrical and computer engineering major. I can talk about what I expected and how I prepped first. I kind of anticipated going in and seeing booths with information about the company that would kind of I don't know, start conversation a little bit easier or you could ask questions about the information posted. I expected that you would be able to go and talk to the recruiters and if it went well that they would offer you an interview. And I expected to be able to talk to a lot more recruiters than I actually did. Those were my expectations going in. To prep for Expo, I first made a list of the companies that I wanted to talk to. They posted a list and I chose 15 companies that I want to talk to because I thought that you would be able to talk to them pretty quick That was not the case at all each booth had about 20 to 30 people in line and it took forever I stood in line for one company that had like five people for 20 minutes and then I stood in line at another company I think I was only behind maybe 10 people and it took an hour and a half so expect long lines I also fixed up my resume. I spent about an hour on that to make sure that it looked good, like aesthetically and that everything sounded good, making sure the more important things are easily seen and your eyes are gravitated towards that. My expo experience, I only talked to four companies and I was there for three hours. More than half of the people that I talked to just offered an application link to fill out afterwards which seemed kind of annoying that I spent so much time waiting to talk to them, expecting an opportunity for an interview, and then I just had to fill out an application, but I guess that's just how it is these days. But So yeah, you can expect that. But I did talk to one person who offered me a position without having to interview, so I guess that is also something that can happen. He sent me the letter of intent, which means my offer letter is coming. So that's pretty exciting. So that was a win. I do have some advice. Okay, so my advice on preparing for Expo would be choose a smaller list of companies that you're gonna talk to and do some research on those companies. I didn't do much research about the companies that I wanted to talk to because I kind of had an idea about who they are and what they do. And at the job fair, they are recruiting for very specific positions. So that's an important thing to ask them about because they might not offer positions that you saw online. So just be aware of that. Another thing to prepare is your resume. Make sure that you have a few copies printed and on your phone so that you can send it in. A lot of them had things to fill out and attach your resume. So make sure that that's easily accessible. At Expo, my advice would be to start off at a booth that has a shorter line so you can kind of build your confidence up quicker. 
by talking to that person instead of standing in a long line and kind of being nervous the whole time. I feel like after I talked to my first person, I wasn't as nervous to go to like the next booth and I had more of an idea of what I wanted to say. Advice on what to say to the recruiter. I know a lot of people have like prepared elevator pitches that they just kind of go up and they're like, hi, my name is, here's my resume, blah, blah, blah. Anyways, I would recommend just having like a short spiel about you. I would just say I'm a third year ECE major and I'm looking for a software internship for next summer. And then I would kind of ask what opportunities they had available at that company and that went pretty well and then they were able to look at my resume and ask me some questions. I could ask them some questions back. It's good to have more just of a conversation so that you can show that you're interested in them too and that you did a little bit of research. I didn't really do any research but research wouldn't hurt. If you're not really sure what position you're looking for, I feel like you could ask them what positions they have available that would maybe fit your skill set and they can match you to one. One company I talked to, after I told them a little bit about me, they were like, oh, this position sounds like it would suit you very well. I do have a side note. So at the job fair, the recruiters are mainly looking for upperclassmen, so juniors and seniors. So if you're an underclassman, Sometimes the recruiters will tell you that they're not really interested. You can still talk to them and it's probably a good idea too just to get some experience in talking to recruiters. That's just a note that not a lot of recruiters are looking for underclassmen. That is my spiel. I hope that's helpful and I hope that everyone has a good time at EXO in the future. They do have them in the fall and in the spring. I'm not sure if I'm going to go to the one in the spring. I feel like that was more than enough for me. Good luck at y'all's future job fairs. Thanks for watching. See y'all soon.